Well, first up, Australian Defence Minister Marie Spain has informed that Australia will end airstrikes against the Islamic State in Iraq. Mrs. Payne said that her country took the decision after the Iraqi Prime Minister Haider al-Abadi announced total victory against the Islamic State. The six Super Hornet planes have been given a green light to head back to Australia. 80 Australian ground troops, part of the Special Operation Task Group in Iraq, will continue to be in Iraq as trainers. We remain committed to ensuring the long-term security of Iraq. I'd also remind us uh, all that we are there at the invitation of the government of Iraq. We work closely with the Iraqi government, we work closely with the members of the international coalition, and uh, I acknowledge the effort of all involved in this, uh, in this campaign. It has been long, it has been arduous, it has been brutal, but they have made, uh, from the ADF's perspective, all of our personnel have made an extraordinary contribution. Well, Australia has been part of the US-led coalition fighting against Islamic State terrorists in Iraq since the beginning of 2014. It has been one of the most active members of the 12-country coalition fighting in Iraq. Well, Vion's international correspondent, Daniele Pagani, now joins us with more details from the Vion newsroom. Well, Daniele, what more can you tell us about it? This is the first of uh, the coalition member to pull back his uh, jet fighters. Uh, this is a signal of the beginning of uh, what has been one of perhaps the most brutal campaign against uh, a non-government organization, a non-state actor, so to say, like the Islamic State. Uh, the Battle of Mosul ended in July. The last operations are still undergoing with very little and small pockets of resistance on the border with Syria that the United States Air Force will keep uh, uh, pursuing alone. Uh, is the end of uh, the CTJFOR, the coalition fighting in Iraq, and uh, perhaps is the end of this phase against uh, the last uh, large jihadi Salafi organization active in West Asia? Right, uh, Daniele, thank you for uh, joining us with all that information. Well, earlier, while uh, the reports are still out that Australia will be pulling out, the U.S. said that while it welcomes the ISIS withdrawal, it will continue uh, to station its uh, troops in Iran.